What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If this is the first time you're touching down on this channel, welcome to Small Feet, Big Heat. We talk sneakers, we talk street wear, and everything in between. Today, I'm coming at y'all with a hat club unboxing. Well, actually, I already did the unboxing part. Y'all can see the empty boxes behind me. I kind of opened them up already just to make sure that everything is good, but I am going to be showing y'all my most recent hat club pickup. So let's jump right in. But first, like, comment, subscribe, show a small YouTuber some love, as I always say. Y'all seem to be enjoying the hat content. Y'all really like that upcoming hat releases video. So if y'all want to see more hat content, make sure y'all show the video some love. Let's go ahead and get into my first pickup. This one right here. A lot of y'all was asking, did I pick up anything from the Hat Club Mount Fuji's collection? It's here. It hit the doorstep finally. So Texas Rangers, Mount Fuji. I've really been enjoying the Texas hats recently. I don't know what it is about that like double layered T logo, the T front logo, but I like it a lot. And y'all know I love a good two-tone, so that gray with the black, very clean. Black button on top. What I really like though is that side patch. 1995 side patch, but if you look in there, it's got some metallic threading inside the star on like some of the panels. It's like alternating panels, I guess you could say. It's like metallic and it's white and it's metallic and it's white. Y'all can see the vibes. I thought that was a really nice touch. Pink outline. It looks really good. Flat Batterman purple with the pink in there. It's nice. There goes the new era flag. Pinky with the black guts. This was a really clean collection. Down below in the comment section, definitely let me know what y'all picked up. And if you didn't pick anything up, let me know why you passed and are you regretting it? Because I think a lot of the times, once people start to see the hats curved, they see them on Instagram, they see people matching them with their sneakers, whatever the case may be, that's when the regret sets in for some people. So let me know. For some reason, my pin was not in the box. I didn't see my pin in the box. I checked, maybe it fell inside the hat. It's not in the hat. It's not in the box. So I don't know where my Fuji pin is. Um, that kind of sucks. I'm sad about that, but it is what it is. I got the hat. So next I'm gonna show y'all from a more recent collection. Y'all probably already know what it is. Hat Club Crocodile, baby. So this one right here, mixed opinions. A lot of mixed opinions in that upcoming hat release video that I did. Some of y'all said y'all wasn't interested in it at all. You know, it's a no look pass. Some of you said that y'all like the collection, just not enough to cop. So y'all were gonna pass and wait for something better. And some of you really liked it and y'all were able to secure your hats. For those of y'all that picked up that Detroit hat, nice scoop, very nice scoop. Hat Club Crocodile Yankees. Y'all can see that green. It's like a neon green Yankees logo on the front. 1999 World Series side patch. Has some like cream accents to it. Two different shades of green, but that cream really sets it off. Flat batterman on the back. Tonal New Era flag. It's a nice one, it's a nice one. Do I like the Hat Club Crocodile collection as much as I like that Lavender Fields collection? No, but in its own right, it was still a pretty solid collection. I'm still looking for that Lavender Fields Texas Rangers in a size 7 and 1 8. I just don't like the prices right now. So when the prices come down a little bit, I might go ahead and spin the block on that hat. It's like an ivory. No, what did they call it? It was like a light tan, light beige, color UV, black guts. And this one did have its pin. So it came with this pin right here. I like what they're doing with the whole randomized pin thing. Like there's a select number of pins and then you get, you know, one of the one of the different pins. So here it is. It's a little spun around in there. Let me fix it. There it goes. I wanted the crocodile that kind of looked like Joe Exotic, but this one is nice. He's like wearing a raincoat. He's got a fish. I don't remember the name of this one, but I like it. It's a good size pin, one prong. Let me show y'all what it looks like on the hat. This is not actually where I would wear the pin, but it's a good positioning for me to show the pin to y'all. So here it goes. I like the way it looks. 
I like the way it looks a lot. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about these crocodile pins and the whole randomized pin thing in general because they've done it for the last couple collections. I would probably wear it right here next to the um, Yankees logo or on the back, I don't know. And since I don't have a pin for the Fuji's, I know what pin is gonna look good in there. My own pin. <laughs> if y'all don't already know, I did drop my first pin, the Bubble OG. The Bubble OG, still available. The link will be in the description and it will also be in a pinned comment in the comment section. So if y'all are looking for your Bubble OG pins, go cop them. I think that's a great looking combo, but I'm biased, it's my pin. So if you enjoyed today's video, like, comment, subscribe, show a small YouTuber some love, and I'll check y'all out in the next one.